Hello this is Ben119 and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be carrying on with my Pikmin 3 Deluxe 100% walkthrough and we're up to day 7. So last episode we killed the Sandbelt Gym Slug and we have unlocked the new area which is the Twilight River and the Twilight River is a really cool area. It's a very big area as well, there's lots of multitasking. It's just fun overall and I will be showing you how to get all the fruits in the area and I will be showing you what to do so let's get into it in a minute but first we gotta skip, sit through text like we've had to do for the last six times and yeah it's alright I guess uh, I'm reading it now now I'm not reading it because my attention span is really short okay so there's 15 fruits in this area which is actually the area with the least amount of fruits. Com actually no, the formidable oak has got the least amount of fruits because it's the final area but that has zero fruits but I mean this is the one with the least amount of fruits that has fruits. That's a weird way to put it. There we go, we've just landed. And the unique part about this area is that it's kind of split into two areas. Like you've got this part of it and then there's another part of it you can get to later which is quite big and open as well and there's a really unique mechanic and the unique mechanic is the lily pads and if you've never seen this game before or this area you're gonna really like it because there's basically a system where lily pads go across the river and you have to jump on them and you can get off at certain stops and it's really cool so we're gonna take all our pit we need a load of yellows today because we're gonna be doing some electrical tasks and there is an enemy here, so I f always forget the name of him, he's in all the Pitman games. And he basically just drops things when you hit him. I'm just getting him so I can put him on the Piclopedia because I'm getting all the Piclopedia entries. Because it's a 100% completion. If you could let me know the name of actually no, I could just look in the Piclopedia, what am I on about? I keep forgetting this game is a Piclopedia. I need to read it again. Well I will be doing anyway for one of the episodes. Because I'm going to do 15 episodes and the 16th episode is just going to be reading the fruit files and the Piclopedia basically. And here we go, we have spotted the wing onion. And in order to get to that wing onion we need to build this really big bridge. So there's three piles of bridge pieces in this area and we just need to find them. But while we wait we might as well go in this dirt mound. I'm not sure if you saw that but to the left there's an orange in the water. You might be able to see it there, so we'll be able to get that once we have blue Pikmin. But today we're going to be getting, I think, six or seven fruits. So that'll be interesting. You'll see which ones we'll get, and I'll talk you how to get them. There we go. Oh yeah, I killed some little orange ball bulbs down there because they're in the way. The orange ball bulbs, the little ones are pretty much the same as the red ones, but the big orange ball bulbs, the, dis the difference with them is that they wake up really easily and they have more health. In my opinion, they're the hardest type of ball warp to kill. But you might find them easy, and I'll show you how to take on an orange ball warp later on in the series when we get to the big ones. For now, we're gonna throw a load of yellows on there, so then we can come back to it when it's done. And we're gonna use our very first spicy spray. So, in order to use spicy spray, you just need to hold down Y and press up. And if you have any collected, then it will use it up. And what it does is it basically makes all your Pikmin more powerful for about a minute. And once it wears off, they all stay flowered. So if you have like a leaf army, there's a good way to get them all flowered. And look at that attack damage. Like you might not know how much health that enemy has originally, but if you were to try doing that without the spicy spray, that would not happen. Oh, yeah, there's some bomb rocks up here. I'm using yellows because they can be thrown the highest. You could. I'm not sure if you can get reds or rocks up there, but we've got four bomb rocks. I'm going to throw one of them on this enemy. I think it will fail because this enemy's stupid, yeah. On the original, I've never missed that shot, but for some reason on the deluxe version, I keep missing that. I don't know why. It might be something to do with the way the enemy moves around. Oh, well, I'll have to find a different angle. But we broke down a wall and that wall leads back to the onion and that's a very important wall because we're able to get back here from, from the base without having to go all the way to the lily pads. And it will save us so much time in the long run, like it's unbelievable how much time it saves. 
Like, if we didn't do that, we'd have to backtrack all the way around the lily pads every time. And now we're going to go into this cave. So this cave's really cool. Because there are water dump holes. I'm not sure if you've seen water dump holes yet, but they're really annoying. They're in Pikmin 1 and 2 as well. Also, we got an electrical puzzle. So, 20 on the light. I like how they remembered the puzzle. The electrical ones, they didn't just forget about it. I think later on in the final area, we get to see some more electric puzzles as well. So, yeah. It's good that they don't get wasted on one level. There we go. There's the water dump hole. Now, the thing about water dump holes is you kind of want to surprise them with your attacks. You don't want to swarm because they shake off quite easily and they can eat quite a few Pikmin at once. So that's not good. We're going to put all our reds on there because we don't particularly need reds for what we're about to do. We're going to leave Charlie back here so then when they're done, Charlie can whistle them. Nice and easy, so we have to backtrack to this cave. And that is the first batch of brick bridge pieces that will be placed onto the bridge. The second batch, you might have seen the second batch already, but they're inside this crystal. They're done with that gate now, that's cool. So we're going to break through this crystal. And let's throw all the yellows onto it. Because we need the rocks. We don't need them for this bit, but it's easier. So there's two wally hops. So the first one is pretty easy. He's out of water. So just kill him with the rocks. So Because rock pitmen can't get crushed. And lure this one out of the water. And as soon as he lands, throw a load of rocks onto him and he should die. Very nice. A uh, little puzzle here. In a minute, we're going to get these bridge pieces first though, but you may have seen a fruit across that water. You may be wondering, how do I get rocks across there? Pretty simple. All you need to do is throw a captain across the water, and then just throw 10 rocks onto this side bit up here. Or you could throw the rocks across the water. I think you're supposed to throw them over here though. I think what they could have done is they could have made it so you have to throw rocks across, and then you have to come back with blues. That would have been a good puzzle. But it's pretty basic, you can just carry it straight back across here with rocks, you don't need blues or anything. Still pretty clever. Pretty good. There we go, these ones are done and they're coming back, so we timed that pretty well. Because now we don't have to wait for any of them. And I think we're going to head towards where that bridge is now because the bridge should be nearly done already. That's what happens if you manage your time well. I could have managed it even better to be honest, but... I wanted to take out this wall first in this guy. Let's just head across here. Now I'm going to put some Pikmin away because, spoiler alert, we're getting a new type of Pikmin. And we need to have some room for the new colour on the field. So if we have 100 on the field, we won't really be able to make any of that new colour. And if you have seen like Pikmin trailers or you've just seen this game, you can probably tell what colour it is. But I'm going to still keep quiet for a little bit longer. So there's some more leaf bugs. Now they're quite hard to spot, they actually blend in quite well, so just make sure to kill them because they can surprise your Pikmin when you least expect it. And we're going to kill this spider here, so there's quite a few of these spiders in this level. And they have these webs, and the Pikmin can get stuck in the webs and the spiders eat the Pikmin. It's very horrible, I know. But yeah, the, I think the best way of killing them is with rocks, or even wings, but even with wings they're a bit weak. And yeah, the type of Pikmin we're getting are wings, I kind of spoiled it just then, but it's not going to be blues, is it? Just look at the colour of the onion. Why would it be blues? It could have been blues, but yeah, this area is kind of designed for wings, and you see these pink things that you've been seeing around the game? Wing Pikmin can also pull them out of the ground, so that's quite a big thing that we can now access. Because you may have seen some of them earlier in the game, and now we can backtrack to them. And underneath them are all sorts of things. For example, you can get pellets, you can get nectar, uh, even fruits, little enemies like shear grubs. You can get all sorts. So yeah, like the thing that's the thing I like about this game. It's like it's just not dedicated to one thing. Like you saw that dirt mound earlier on. We got pellets from it. Usually you just get bomb rocks, but you can get all sorts. You can get data files, bridge pieces, bomb rocks, etc. That's what I like about this game, like, you don't always know what you're going to get. That like, you think you know, but you don't. Here we go. Well, I do know what I'm going to get, because I've completed it and I know where everything is. Because I'm a massive Pikmin nerd. But that's fine, I guess. I still love this game. If anything, I loved it more since I've started playing it again. Because I love just knowing the game so well. 
I really love all the new missions on this game. I'm just gonna use go here to head back to base with them. And we're just gonna build up some wing pitmen, because that's what you do in pitmen games. You once you get a new colour, you wanna build up a little army. So then you can actually do stuff with that colour. So the new missions, if you've seen my Pikmin 3 Deluxe review, then you'll know my opinion on the new missions, but I do like them a lot. They are a little bit easy, but I do really like them, and after I've done this uh, story mode let's play, I am planning to do a mission mode let's play of all the missions, Platinum, and after that I plan to do all the side stories, Platinum. So if you found this series interesting, that will be happening sometime soon. When I say soon, it could be it could take a while because there's going to be loads of episodes. So it's not going to be in the next few days or even a few weeks. Because, yeah, there's quite a lot to do for it all. Oh yeah, there's a fruit there. I forget the name of that fruit, but underneath that thing you pull out the ground, there is a fruit. So just make sure to get that fruit if you're wanting to get all the fruits in the game. It's a very easy fruit to get. However, it is quite easy to miss if you're not paying attention. So I just thought I'd let you know. That is the most obvious data file I've seen in my life. It just says Wing Pikmin Fly. Like, duh. Obviously they do. I've been using them, like, for, like, five minutes now. It'd be good if it said it on the data file next to the onion. But at that point, like, yeah, it's funny, I guess. Here we go, we got this fruit back. And now we're gonna head over to the right in a minute. Uh, let's just get these together. Uh, here we go. Let's go this way. And you may have noticed there was one of those pink things on this side here that we can get. So we're just going to head over to that now. Because why not? And with the rest of our wings, we're going to put them on this branch. So you need 10 to lift this up. And you may be able to tell what's about to happen. Enjoy. So there you go, it's opened up a new path for lily pads, so lily pads can now travel down this side of the river as well. Which means we can get off at more stops, plus we are now able to access the new part of this area. I think that's a really cool way to design this level because it like it blocks a certain path and you then open that path, but it doesn't feel like you're just opening a path, it just feels like you're making some... I don't know what I'm trying to say here, but... It's not so obvious what it's doing. Like you have to just get on the lily pad and just explore where it goes. Like, it doesn't show you that it's opened the path, which I think is quite nice for this game, because this game can sometimes be a bit obvious. I think if you look on the hints, it might show you that, but I don't look at the hints because I think they're a bit obvious. Like, it tells you a bit too much of the hints. I guess it's really good for beginners, though. Like, no offence. Oh yeah, also we saw Olimar on that cutscene, and he got killed by, well not killed, that's a bit far. Spoiler, he doesn't actually die. I, I, did, I actually said that by accident, he doesn't actually die, <laughs> if you've never played this game, he's not dead. But he basically just got like knocked out by something, and in the next episode we'll find out what that is, but for now we're going to get a few fruits, and we're going to progress towards what's about to happen in the story next time. I think we'll just grow a few more wings as well today because we don't have many. So there's a fruit under this thing here. It looks a bit like the other fruit. I always feel like this fruit is called as well. But it only needs three Pikmin. It's nice and easy to get. And as Alf, we're going to go back in this cave and we're going to take our three wings with us. So for this part here, you can take wings or blues. I like to take wings though because then I don't have to bother with the water dumples. So you can go underwater. All the wing pitmen will fly above the water. However, you're not able to throw wing pitmen when you're in the water. For obvious reasons, because when it would be in your hand, it'd start drowning. It makes sense. I wonder if the helmet that the captain's wearing have got, like, underwater breathing. Would be cool if it did. But over here, there's, like, a sp another spider web thing now. Be careful. You, I'm spiced up my wings, so then they're not going to die. But make sure to kill that spider, because if you don't, your wings will get stuck in the web, and he'll eat the wings. Maybe if you take blues, it's good in that way, because they do more attack damage, but I don't have blues yet. I could just, c but I will have to come back here, obviously, later on, because there are some fruits I do need blues for. 
I could have got it then, but I just decided to get it now because I'm already in that part of the map, so why not? I have enough wings with me. I'm just going to head back to base, and I'm going to get ready to head over to the new part of the area. Before we do, let's just flower these guys up because it's nice to be optimal, I guess. Uh, I'm just waiting around. Oh, he's on the lily pad. I go here over here. I like how he's using the lily pad to go here. Very creative guy. Let's play as Alf. He's gonna go here out of here, because I don't know why. Like, it's not as if I even need to do anything as Alf. I just don't want to be in that cave alone with the water dumples. Here we go. This is the new part with the lily pads. Like, this leads us down a new path. Uh, so if you wait on those lily pads, you will go through this pipe here. It looks a bit like a Mario pipe, actually, I just noticed. I know it's not, but it kind of does to me. So there we go, we're in the brand new area. And I think this is the tree that Olimar was talking about. So we're going to progress towards that on the next episode, but for now I'm just going to show you a little bit around this area. So there's going to be another big bridge that we'll have to build. And there's a wall to the left that we can break down, but on the next day I'm going to come back here with bomb rocks so we can get through it a lot quicker than normal. Now let's just get these berries while we're here, we might as well get all these because we can then get another spray from it. By the looks of it, because it looks like we're near getting another spray, so that'd be cool. Uh, now we're going to push this box, yet another box. I said there was a lot of boxes in this game. Well, I, at first I said there wasn't many boxes, but then I thought about it and there is quite a few. And I'm just showing that there is quite a few. There is another box in this area, that, and we'll get to that later on a different episode. And there is a fruit up here. It's quite hidden, this fruit. But it is there. You can actually get it from down here by swarming wings onto it, but the normal way of getting it is by throwing Pikmin from where I was up to it. And I like how the fruit in that cave, there was three of those, like, I think they're raspberries. I like how there's just three of them next to each other. It's pretty cool detail. It would be nice if they hid all three in different places in the game, but you can't really complain about that. Three fruits at once. Uh, might as well end the day. We've got everyone together. No one's getting left behind. We didn't lose any Pikmin today. We're still deathless. That's pretty good. That's funny actually, thinking about it, because when a Pikmin actually does die, it'll be the first time you've seen a Pikmin die, and I'll have to like talk about it. Hopefully a Pikmin won't die during this playthrough, but I cannot guarantee that, like I was saying. But there we go, we're making good time for this Let's Play. I noticed that I keep ending the day quite early compared to how far you could go, but the thing is, if I had carried on in that area, I wouldn't have got it all done, plus I would have had to have gone all the way back on the next day and got everyone out again, I'd rather just end the day now once I've done everything in this area and then go back to it and do the new part of the area in the next day, I think it'll just make the let's play flow a bit better and make it more tidy to watch as well there we go, the wing onion has now emerged into the onion making it bigger and we got a new pikmin type, we're only missing the water pikmin or the blue pikmin now so we'll get them soonish I'm not going to say when, but it's within the next few episodes, not the next episode though. Uh, let's just juice some fruits, because that's what we do on every episode. I think we're going to end up getting fruit on every episode apart from one, but yeah, that's what we do, we just juice some fruits. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say really during this, just enjoy the fruit. I'm actually going to be quiet for this, enjoy the fruit. Alright, I'm gonna talk again because I feel like I'm being lazy. I should just not be quiet. I should talk more because that kind of is my job for the channel to talk over my content because it's because I said to myself I don't like it when I just record things and not talk like let's plays and things I think in whenever I record let's plays I should talk on them all the time not like speed runs with speed runs I don't mind not talking because they're speed runs I'd maybe talk over them afterwards if they're really good but yeah I don't know what I'm saying 
I keep saying that as well. Whenever I'm unsure, or when I think I've said something stupid, I always say, I don't know what I'm saying. But there we go, we got through day 7 alive. We're not dead yet, which is awesome. And we got loads of juice. We've got almost 6 weeks worth. Which is amazing. I always say how many weeks worth of juice we have. That's going to be a thing as well. And we met Captain Olimar, which is an honour. And yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for watching this video and the rest of the videos. And enjoy the next lot of videos. Goodbye.